I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today we are going to make men's boxer briefs. It's time to make your significant other as sexy as can be. Or maybe you're just a dude who needs some new underwear and you're tired of buying them at the store and you know you can totally make some and you can throw out all the ones that have holes in your drawers. Please do that. Also, if you're not a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you know when all the new videos come out. I'm also teaching virtual sewing lessons right now, so if you need help with any of your sewing projects, you can book my time and I will help you from my design studio to yours. And if you want to see all my classes that are listed for in-person, make sure you check them out on the website sewinganastasia.com. There will also be a link down below. It's time to make some boxer briefs. So the first thing you're going to need is the pattern. And the pattern is going to be downloadable on my website in sizes extra small through extra extra large. So make sure you check that out so that way we can sew boxer briefs together. You're also going to need some elastic for the waistband. You can choose any color or type. I really love plush back elastic because it's so nice and soft on your skin. I also recommend using anywhere from an inch to two inches wide. These come in such a variety of colors and stripes. This one's even buffalo plaid. This one has some glitter to it. And this one's a fun stripe too. So make sure you grab a really fun elastic for your waistband of your boxer briefs. Next on the list is going to be your rotary cutter. And make sure you have your scissors. And make sure you have a really awesome four-way stretch knit. So that way they're nice and comfy to wear. I'm gonna be using this leopard print today. Isn't it so much fun? The first thing we're gonna do is cut out our pattern. So we need to lay out our fabric so that way we can place our pattern down correctly. When laying out the pattern, you wanna make sure you fold your fabric because center back and center front is on the fold here. And we only need to cut one of these pieces. And then we're gonna move over to the front pouch and the front pouch is gonna be cut four. So I have two layers of fabric down here, wrong sides together, and then I folded it over so that way I have two more so that way I can cut out all four pieces of the front pouch at once. So grab your rotary cutter and let's cut these out. So now we have all of our pattern pieces cut out. You should have one really big piece and then you should have four smaller pieces. Next, we need to cut out the elastic for the waist and the way we're gonna do this is measure your pattern across the waist and minus an inch. So cut your elastic one inch smaller than the actual measurement of your waist. So this is the waist here and it looks like it's about 28 inches so I'm gonna cut my elastic at 27. Now that we have it all cut out, let's move over to the sewing table and sew this together. Today I'm gonna to be using the Husqvarna Viking Amber Air S400. This is a serger. I will be using a serger for this project. If you don't have a serger, you can totally use a zigzag stitch or an overcast stitch for knit. If you want more information about those two stitches, you can definitely check out my video, How to Serge Without a Serger. There'll be a link down below and there should be a card somewhere up here. The first step is going to be sewing the outer edge of the pouch together. So right sides together, we wanna to go ahead and sew up these two outer curves on the pouches. Let's go ahead and lift up our foot, put in our fabric and serge up this curve. Now let's sew the other one up. And if you're having trouble sewing curves, make sure you check out my video on sewing corners and curves. So you should have two pouch sets sewn up and they should look something like this. The next thing we're gonna do is sew the pouches to the outside of the panties. 
Now what we wanna do is take the side of the pouch and sew it to this curve here that's on the boxer. And we wanna make sure that the wide part of the pouch is at the top and the small part is at the bottom. So we wanna fold it so it's right sides together. Now notice this is a bit of a straight line and this is a curve. So you're gonna to have to line those up together. If you need, you can use clips. We also wanna take the second pouch and we wanna put it under it face up. And we wanna line up all three layers. So we have the right side of the pouch, we have the right side of the boxer, and then the next layer is also gonna be the right side of the pouch face up. So go ahead and put all three layers together and let's run it through the serger. Make sure you have all three layers nice and lined up and let's go. Make sure you keep lining up all your layers as you're sewing. Now we have the pouch sewn on to one side. We need to go ahead and do it to the other side. And this one's gonna be a little tricky and complicated to make sure that the seam on the inside stays nice and finished and you don't have a rough serge edge there. So follow along. So you wanna take the other curve that you have on the other side of your boxer brief and we're gonna place it right sides together on top of this other one. But we don't wanna lay all three layers just together because that means you're gonna end up with a raw serge on the inside. So now what we need to do is take our other pouch piece that's on the bottom and bring it over to the front. So we're wrapping the entire boxer brief in this little pouch. And now we've got the pouch right side to the wrong side of the boxer. And then we have the other pouch right side face up. So you're creating this little burrito, if you will. Now let's sew up our pouch. Okay, let's serge all three edges together. Make sure they're nice and lined up. Now that we have our burrito pouch all sewn together here, let's go ahead and turn it right side out. Here we go, we are looking good. So now you can see this is the front of our boxer brief. This is the back of our boxer brief. And then on the inside, it's gonna be nice and finished where that second pouch layer is. And that's gonna give you some extra support, which is great. Now what we're gonna do is put our inseam together. So right sides together and we're gonna sew this up. And now you can see we're gonna have two leg holes, one and two and our waist. Okay, so make sure your edges are lined up and let's sew that inseam. Now our inseam is sewn up and it looks great. So now we can go ahead and turn them right side out and we're going to set up either a cover stitch machine or you can set up a zigzag stitch on your regular sewing machine. Before I set up the cover stitch, I'm gonna go ahead and serge both ends of the elastic together. You could also zigzag or overcast this edge as well. Now what we're gonna do is fold the under leg under about a half inch and then we're gonna run it through the cover stitch machine. I have my fabric folded under a half inch and I'm stitching on the top of the fabric for the cover stitch. I keep folding it under as I go. Now I'm gonna make sure my needles are up. If you need to, you can use your hand wheel to make sure they're all the way up. Lift your lever up in the back, lift up the foot, and I want you to take both of your needle threads, pull them towards you. Go ahead and clip. And now when you pull the boxers to the back, they're gonna come out nice and easy. And you have one more thread to clip, but you're gonna notice that there's no threads on the top. They're all pulled to the back. It's like magic. Now do the exact same thing to the other leg opening. If you're using a zigzag stitch, your zigzag stitch is gonna be in place of these two stitches here. So you would have it folded under and then you would just be zigzagging on the top. And the zigzag's gonna allow it to stretch still just as the cover stitch does. Now that we have both of our leg openings hemmed, it's time to put on the elastic at the waist and then we are done. So easy, right? 
So I have my elastic band already. I want to make sure that my serge seam is going to be at center back. And when you have these long thread tails, I want you to make sure they're pulled all the way to the bottom. So that way when we stitch over them for the waistband, they keep them nice and secure. And then you can clip off the extra and nothing's going to come unraveled. So now what we want to do is make sure that about three eighths of an inch of our actual fabric is on to our waistband. You could use some pins here if you like because there's no blade in a cover stitch machine. Or you could go ahead and zigzag this on or I just like to position it as I sew it. So you'll notice I have the right side of my fabric up and I have the wrong side of my waistband down and the right side of the waistband face up. And now we're gonna cover stitch all the way around the edge and I wanna make sure that the center of my fabric, or I wanna make sure the edge of my fabric is right in the center of my cover stitch so that way it catches the edge. I like the stitch, lift it up, make sure it's lined up, position it. Remember we cut our waistband a little shorter than our boxer briefs. So you're gonna have to pull it just a smidge as you go. When I get to the end, I'm gonna go over about a half inch. And then when I stop, I make sure my needles are up. I lift up my foot. I lift up my foot again with my finger. I take my tweezers. I grab those two top threads. I pull them towards me. I go ahead and cut. And then when I pull my briefs out, they're gonna pull all those top threads to the back. We did it! We finished the boxer briefs. They look awesome and they're ready for a stroll in the town. So you'll notice we have our cover stitch on the leg opening and on the waist. Remember, you can also do a zigzag stitch here. We have our pouch pocket on the front and then we have it nice and finished on the inside, enclosing those serged raw edges here so that way it's nice and smooth on your body. And the back has no seam. How amazing. No extra panty lines here. Thanks so much for watching So Anastasia today. If you have any questions on making boxer briefs, make sure you leave it down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. And don't forget to grab that pattern from my website so you can sew along with me while I sew boxer briefs and you can sew boxer briefs. So cool, so many boxer briefs. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at So Anastasia and Anastasia Chaska to see what I'm up to in the design studio every day. And I'm now teaching virtual sewing lessons and in-person sewing lessons as well. Information for all that is down below or you can visit SewAnastasia.com. And if you wanna help grow Sew Anastasia, hop on over to Patreon. Even just a dollar would help and support and mean so much. And we're on our way to 100,000 subscribers, so make sure you share this video, give it a thumbs up, comment on it, give it some applause. If you loved it, show it some love. And if you make a pair of boxer briefs, I would love to see them. So make sure you tag me at Sew Anastasia or DM me photos and I will repost them in my stories and on my feed, on my Instagram and my Facebook. Thanks so much for watching, bye!